After the match, House of Black appeared in the ring and Brody King attacked Andrade. I'm looking forward to this feud continuing because Buddy and Andrade put on a banger by themselves. So I can imagine when Andrade grabs a couple partners and goes after those trios titles, we're going to get a series of amazing matches. I missed Andrade. After that, we got Miro versus Tiny Knees, and I am so glad to see Miro back. I need shoulders like that, man. That dude is built. I'm not quite there. But this was basically a squash match to send the message that the Redeemer is back, and hopefully he's going back for that TNT title, because other than Cody, he's really the only one that I like as TNT champion. Darby Allen's run was pretty nice as well. Willow Nightingale and Sky Blue versus Tony Storm and Ruby Soho. I said before, I am loving this feud. I am a big fan of Willow. I am a big fan of Ruby. I am a fan of Tony Storm. But however, I am not too familiar with Sky Blue, and this feud is introducing me to her. I do love how they are putting over Sky Blue so she is not buried by this feud. This match was really fun, and I am looking forward to see what they do in the future. And finally, CMFTR versus Samoa Joe and Bullet Club. Juice Robinson and Jay White. This match was a great match and CM Punk did very little. I understand why he just came back from injury, so you want to ease him back into it. CM Punk wasn't in the ring extensively and it felt like he was trying to pace himself and I understand this, he's been off for nine months and had a tricep tear. But it was still a fun match, it had some great spots and it was fun seeing CM Punk and Samoa Joe face off after 20 years. They both faced off in Ring of Honor in like 2004. But this was a good reintroduction to CM Punk. They started the show and ended the show with him because they knew this show was all about CM Punk's return. And they made that very clear. Overall, All Night Collision had a big fight feel. I just hope that they could keep the momentum going. I remember when Rampage first started, the first three, four, maybe even five shows felt like huge deals. But as time went on, people stopped caring, and it seems like their booking stopped caring about Rampage, and then they start taping it. When you start taping a wrestling show, that really means it's nothing, because you don't care about the spoilers getting out there. So in turn, people are not going to watch because they know there'll be no surprises, or the matches were already spoiled for them. But all in all, Collision is off to a great start. I just hope that they can keep it up and it doesn't fall by the wayside like Rampage did. What are your thoughts on AEW Collision's debut show? Let me know in the comments.